Good morning, grade seven. Uh, as we mentioned in the previous class, that ecosystem services are, there are two things that affect the ecosystem services. What are these two things? Factors that, or the factors or things that impact ecosystem services. There are two factors that impact ecosystem services. The first one is the biodiversity. And the second one is human activities. And as you know that in general, when a, an ecosystem or when biodiversity is high, this will increase uh, the production. Production increases, so we will have more services. Ecosystem services increase. This is simply, and you can just, just you can read this line. This line will help you to understand the whole paragraph or the effect of biodiversity on ecosystem services. The more biodiversity, the higher the biodiversity, we have more production. Ecosystems will produce more, will give us more services. Okay. Uh, human activities in general, human activities are bad. Good morning, Ahmed. Right. Human activities in general uh, are bad for ecosystem services because humans, when humans alter or change or destroy the habitats, this will, of course, disrupt or disturb the natural cycling of ecosystem. Okay, and so these impacts we were uh, the severe impact of human activities is mostly due oh, to our teacher. ignorance and greed because of humans humans greed and ignorance of we just need selfish. we are selfish in general humans are selfish you just need food we just need fossil fuels we just need raw materials we don't care about the ecosystem we don't care about habitats we don't care about the environment so in general, the results for this, unfortunately, uh, is bad, even for humans. Because we destroy or damage our ecosystems, we have less resources. We have less resources, okay? Look at this statement. Changing the ecosystem impacts humans because it reduces the ecosystem services we rely on or we depend on time. This is the two things or two factors that affect ecosystem services. Again, the biodiversity and the human activities. Human activities in general uh, reduces or decreases the uh, ecosystem services because uh, it will disturb or the change the habitats. Now, what is today, inshallah, we are going to talk about conservation. What is conservation? Five. I want to ask you a question. Suppose that you have only uh, 10 JDs or 20 JDs. And for example, just for example, your parents or your father told you that you have this 20 JDs just for one month. I, I, I will not give you any money within months. This, these, uh, this amount of money, 20 JDs, you have to uh, use them or to pay for, for your food, for your whatever, for one month. What should you do? You try to what? To save. Store it. Store you try to save. And you, you try to not to uh, use, for example, do not pay in one day. Much things because you want to save these 20 JDs. Conservation, conservation uh, almost has the same meaning of save. We want to conserve habitats. We must conserve our environment. We must conserve our ecosystems. Conservation means it's a practice. Please highlight it. It's a practice what? Using less of a resource, to make it long, last longer. Conservation means it is a practice 
of using less of the results so that it can last longer. Let's take an example, a forest. If we, who is talking? Ahmed Al-Azab. Ish Ahmed Al-Azab. What mean conservation? Ish Ahmed Al-Azab. Conservation. Aywa. Shu ma'na? Ahayya. In the Arabic, is that? Or in the English? In the Arabic. طيب علي صوتك شوي. In Arabic. آه. بالعربي يعني ال conservation هن هن نحكي ااا مش حماية لا مش أكثر من حماية conservation معناها. الحفاظ. أيوة تقريبا بالضبط المحافظة على البيئة conservation الحفاظ صح. Conservation it is a practice of using less of a resource so that it can last longer. Suppose that example for example. If a forest, a forest ecosystem, if we use it in, a, a, we can use the forest forever, provided that we conserve it. Conservation doesn't mean that we don't use the ecosystems at all. We use them, but in a way that keep it last longer, forever. If we cut down all of the trees, if suppose that we cut down the majority of the trees in a forest or most of the trees, is this practice good? Is it is it a conservation? Can you answer? No, no, no. teacher. Do you know why? Because we cut the tree. Because we if not... we cut down the majority of the trees, the forest will not be able to last longer. So Conservation doesn't mean, conservation doesn't say to you, don't use anything. No, use ecosystems, use the forest, use the ocean, but without damaging it, make it last longer. Make it, keep it for the next generations, for people who are coming or who are coming uh, in the future. Don't be selfish. Conservation tell you or says, don't be selfish. Fine. Can we practice conservation or are we involved in conservation? Yes, me and you are concerned, citizens, people. Also, we can all practice in conservation to protect and restore Earth existence. Countries, all people are involved in conservation. Uh, I forget to tell you that over the past 50 years, in the last 50 years, people or human activities have drastically damaged or changed air system because of our greed, because of our, because of overusing of resources. Scientists and engineers now working to design solutions to help to save air systems. One of these solutions is conservation. Conservation can be divided into two parts or we can, how can we practice conservation by protection our ecosystems and also by restoration. So practice of conservation involves two practices. Conservation includes the protection of our ecosystems and also restoration of them. What is protection? By its name, when you protect something, you keep protect. It. Yeah. Uh, protect ecosystem. Yes, for example, if we want to protect forests from cutting, what should we do? We must avoid or we must uh, we must make cutting trees forbidden or we must allow only a small amount of cutting. Yani we can, we need, we need timber, we need wood, but we can cut only a few amounts of trees in the forest. We can, for example, the old trees, the sick trees, but we shouldn't cut all of the trees. This is an example of protection. But healthy ecosystems need protection. Okay, any ecosystem need a protection. So this ecosystem can give you services. Type. So healthy ecosystems need protection from loss of resources. Type. 
There is an important concept in science, it's called sustainability. Sustainability means it's the ability of an ecosystem to maintain biodiversity and production identify indefinitely, indefinitely forever. Sustainability is the ability of- So what mean of that word? Ah, sustainable, what does mean sustainable in Arabic? Yani you can use something forever. Something what teacher? Sustainability. Uh, and you use something, use something, but the, uh, without destroying it, is the ability of an ecosystem, is the ability of an ecosystem to maintain biodiversity and production uh, indefinitely. Or in another way, sustainability means that the ecosystem is able to give you services forever. Okay, time. Without protection, without conservation, it's impossible to, to have sustainability. Designating protected areas and... Designating protected areas and regulating the amount of resources humans, humans can take from an ecosystem are two main efforts to promote sustainability. So we can, we can promote sustainability by two things, designating protected areas and regulating the amount of resources humans can take from an ecosystem. We must regulate how much services can we take. We must regulate the amount of resources that we can take from an ecosystem. For example, fishing, Fishing must be regulated. We can't, it is, it is, uh, it's dangerous or it can destroy the rivers or lakes ecosystems if we, uh, if fishing is not regulated, if fishing is unlimited, we must regulate re uh, fishing, for example, so that we can sure the sustainability. If we uh, hunt a lot of animals, if we hunt a lot of deers. So this will, uh, we, we can't, we can't promote sustainability. Okay, Natalie, can you, you can't talk. What do you need? Natalie, do you need anything? Mr. No, no. Fine. Okay. So all, what is regulation? Regulation means the regulation of protected areas can be, can be what difficult to enforce without monitors. We, uh, this process needs monitors. So uh, uh, the first way for conservation or the first practice in conservation is the protection. We can protect or we must protect our systems. How can we protect them? By, by regulating and also by designating the protected areas. And, if we protect them, we can sure sustainability so that ecosystems can be able to give us services forever. Right. The second practice for conservation or the second way for uh, conservation is the restoration. What is ecological restoration? What is restoration? Um, it means istiadat al bia. Excellent, thank you. Exactly. When you restore something, in the istaidu, in the Ecological restoration is the practice. This is the Danish police highlighted. It is the practice of helping. De degraded or destroyed ecosystems recover from damage. From uh, from damage. Suppose that we have a, a a sick. Let me call it sick ecosystem. Suppose that we have a sick ecosystem or an ecosystem that is damaged or degraded. We can restore it. Okay. We can help it to re recover. For example. Uh, if there is a damaged wall or broken 
broken wall, you can recover it or restore it. The same thing for ecosystems. Ecosystems can be restored. Damaged ecosystems or degraded ecosystems can be restored. This is called ecological restoration. It is the practice of helping degraded or destroyed ecosystem to recover from damage. Fine. Some recovery efforts are easy. We can, what are the recovery efforts like planting? Simply, suppose that we have a damaged or uh, a forest that people, uh, when people cut down trees from a forest, we can restore it by replanting a new trees. Also, we can planting native plants. Also, uh, so these are examples of restoration efforts. Okay, time. Some, but unfortunately, some, some restorations or some restoration efforts are, or practice are difficult. Yeah, and some of them are easy, like planting trees, but some of them as are difficult. For example, if we have toxic chemical spills, in, in soil or in water, we can use something called bioremediation. Do you know what is the meaning of bioremediation? Bioremediation is uh, when you want to restore or, uh, yes, if you want to restore something in a biological meanings, in a natural means by using natural things, we can use microbes or microorganisms that like bacteria to restore to or, or to fix damaged ecosystems restore by this is called bioremediation bioremediation it's a technique that uses microorganisms like bacteria to break down pollutants suppose that we have pollutants in, in water in a river or in a lake or we have uh, pollutants in soil we can we can uh, break down these pollutants by using microorganisms. This is a good way. Do you know why? Because it is, we're using natural things. We don't use artificial things or human-made things. Bioremediation is not easy. This bioremediation is an example of re restoration. So bioremediation is a technique or a practice that uses microorganisms like, like bacteria to break down pollutants. These, for example, these bacteria feed on pollutants. These pollutants are food for bacteria. They give bacteria energy. In this way, we can clean or remove pollutants from our ecosystems. Type also restoring land to a more natural state or land reclamation. Okay, land, land reclamation also helps its system. So, bioremediation, land reclamation, uh, planting trees, all of these are restoration practices. All of these are re restoration practices. Five. Look at this equation. Uh, by the way, we finished this lesson, lesson four, and we finished topic five. Okay, we finished, alhamdulillah. Look at this question. Why do scientists prefer to use bioremediation to clean up chemical spills? Why do scientists prefer to use bioremediation to clean up chemical spills or to, to clean or to remove pollutants? Why do you think scientists prefer bioremediation? Wait, stand away. طيب. who's talking? أحمد العزام. يلا أحمد تفضل. said in scientists and engineers are working to design solution to help earth ecosystem one away from conservation. طيب. thank you أحمد thank you but uh, يعني I don't mean this the question the answer for the question is not like this. thank you very much أحمد thank you. can anyone answer this question? Why scientists or engineers prefer to use bioremediation in uh, to clean up the uh, the pollutants or contaminants to clean up uh, 
to clean up chemical spills. Why? Why, they, why do they prefer? Why do they prefer bioremediation? To protect us from disease. Can you try? Thank you, Ahmed, for trying. يعني هاي أحمد بحاول حتى لو كان جوابه مش صحيح. على فكرة أنا حكيت طلع ها. Look at this bioremediation. It's a technique that uses microorganisms to break down pollutants, uh, like bacteria. طيب. أستاذ عشان ما يصير في أمراض. لا, because it's a natural way, always to clean up or to protect us. To pollutants in a natural way. Don't. We don't want to use artificial things. This is the, for this reason. Please write the answer. Write the answer, please. Scientists. Scientists. Sorry. The bioremediation, this technique, it uses what? This. This pronoun, it refers to bioremediation. It uses microorganism. Wait, it uses microorganisms to break down what? To break down pollutants. Okay. It uses microorganisms to break down pollutants. So it is a more, it is a more natural way to, it's a more natural way to remove the toxins. Can okay. you explain so, for me the question? Bioremediation is simply in bioremediation we use nature to clean itself. We don't use human-made things. So it will not uh, when we use, for example, bacteria to remove the toxins. It's a natural way. It is a safe way. It will not have another effects on the environment. I will give you an example. I will give you another example. Do you know what are insecticides or pesticides? Do you know what are pesticides? No. Right. Chemicals. Yes. This is called insecticide. قاتل الحشرات هذا مبيد حشر. طيب. Why it's it's made up of this this spray? هذا spray. It's very dangerous because it's made up of toxic materials, chemicals made up of chemical compounds. Okay, these are toxic to the air, to your breathing. طيب. This is not natural way. We can we can kill insects in many. There are other ways. For example, we can use their natural enemies. We can use, for example, the rodents like rats. Look here. Rats, for example. Do you know what are rats? Yes. Yeah. Rats. Right. Rats eat what? eat the crops like wheat, for example. When farmers, in general, farmers, okay, farmers suffer from rodents, like rats. Okay, farmers suffer from rodents, like rats. Why? Because rats eat crops. For example, if the farmer is growing wheat, rats can eat the wheat. So they cause uh, I can, uh, they can cause a loss of the crop and a loss of money. So what should the farmer do? It have two ways to 
to kill these rats by using what something called pesticides. Pesticides. What are pesticides? Yes, that will be that hash, will be some of the data power. I told you some. Him to show you any pesticides. Yes. Okay. Pesticides are chemicals. Okay, but they are not. They are not good for the environment. They are toxic. And they may cause pollution, for example. And so they are dangerous. If we use, okay, if we use a lot of, if we not use a lot of pesticides, it will be dangerous. But we can, we have another solution. We have another choice by using, do you know what is this? Using its natural enemy. The natural enemy of rat is what? The owl. We can, for example, bring some owls and these owls hunt the rats, so it will reduce the numbers of rats. Okay, this is a natural way to kill the rats instead of using pesticides. Okay, the bioremediation is the same thing. Bioremediation. Okay, we can remove toxins or polluted air. We can remove toxins, toxins from soil. And microorganisms. By using what? Microorganisms, thank you. This is a natural way. Water spilling. Okay, now. Water spilling. It's spilling a lot. Oh, when a microorganism, yes, because it's super micro. What does meaning micro? Do you know what? What does this word mean in science? Micro, micro, and a tiny, tiny, very, very small. Okay, five like bacteria, viruses, like bacteria, virus. Okay, these microorganisms we can use them to remove the toxins because they feed on the toxins. And in this way, we can't harm the environment. This is called bioremediation. Is it clear now? Yes. Fine. Yes. Finished? Yes. Listen, listen, review. What are the four categories of existing services? Who do you know? Yalla. Who do you know? You can't answer this question. What are the four categories of existing services? Yalla. If I'm asked to jump, I will choose. I understand. Sorry, Ahmed, don't answer me. Teacher, teacher. Who's talking? Munia. Yalla. Culture, provisional, regulatory, and supporting service. Thank you. What's wrong with the type? Cultural. They are for? Yes, yes. Cultural, provisional. Can you help me? Regulatory. Regulatory, exactly. Regulatory service. Regulatory. Supporting service. And finally, supporting services. All of these, so they have, we have four categories of existing services, cultural services, original services, regulatory services, and supporting services. This is very simple. It's very simple question. Five. Can we move to the second question? Yes, Usad and the How do cultural services help the humans? To understand, you must remember cultural services. Yalla, Ahmed. 
In Ustad, we use cultural surface to rest and relax. Yes. Or learn about Excellent. the world around us. It gives us happiness. Happiness. Thank you. Cultural services. Let us happy, Ustad. Yes, of course. Cultural. Cultural. Cultural services. Okay. Cultural services help. help with our with our well-being with our well-being uh, and happiness and kamal let us happy yes time so cultural services help with our well-being and happiness uh, the third question. How are the third question? How are biodiversity and cycling of matter related to maintaining ecosystem services? How can again, yes, yeah. how are biodiversity and cycling of matter related to maintaining ecosystem services? Can anyone answer this question? Any question? Fine. A cool hal. If there is, you have a bad news now. Rahatiku khabar muzajilku. No, the rest of the list of you is a homeware. Nashi. Tab agulku khalas. Shuri dakhan. Shuri dakhan. Shuri dakhan. Shuri dakhan. Okay. okay, this is a homework. The rest of the lesson review, please, Talashway. Please, I want to tell you something. Suppose that I can't make anything with the date of the exam. Please prepare yourself. Yani you, you have enough time to study. I will try to make it on Sunday. But till now, it is still in Tuesday. Okay, I will tell you if something has changed, I will tell you. Bye. Goodbye for now. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.